allowing me to come here today and run through this um, great issue of ECDIS. If you come to the workshop, then it's going to give you a unique opportunity to be able to talk to experts who understand the systems in identifying issues which you may have with the transients to ECDIS, but also, very importantly, issues you're not aware of. The workshop today has been really interesting. Uh, it's nice to see Paul Hailwood, he's always good value. Uh, it was amusing, uh, but also extremely informative. And I would recommend anybody to give the opportunity to attend. One of the main issues which people look at now is this over-reliance of ECTIS, which people constantly blame ECTIS as a source of, of, of errors. I would actually say it's under-reliance on the technology of ECTIS. If used properly, then that technology is going to improve safety and efficiency. So one of the current issues which people need to be aware of is a transition to S63 1.1. If by the 1st of January 2014 you haven't made that transition, you will not be able to use ECDIS. The testing ahead of the IHO deadline, I think it is a very good idea. At least then we've got some forewarning and we can plan and uh, make the necessary changes so that when the uh, the changeover is completed, uh, everything's functioning as it should be. One of the main issues which we identify in the workshops is the amount of time it's going to take to do that transition properly. If we are looking at it, you're probably looking at a minimum of 18 months, even sometimes longer. And the misconception we can do it in a few weeks is just going to lead to a rush job, compromising safety and inefficient systems. I think today's presentation has demonstrated the, the sooner you get started on implementation and training, the better, because the deadlines are, are closer than you think. <laughs>